Statue of my face, will you carry on my name? You don't really meet anyone who doesn't like music, and you don't really meet anyone who wishes that they couldn't play something. I grew up in Idaho and Dennis grew up in Spokane, Washington and the National Fiddle Contest is in Weezer, Idaho. So where I grew up in Wilder, Idaho is like 30, 40 miles from there and a lot of people play the fiddle just because it's so near there. Also grew up listening to a ton of like traditional bluegrass music, so that's what I grew up listening to mostly was was bluegrass music. And when I got turned on to David Grisman, that was a big eye opener for me, and that is you know, still some of my most favorite music is old DGQ, you know, Tony Rice, yeah, Daryl Anger, Mike Marshall, that kind of stuff. I wasn't introduced to this music until I met these guys really. Was what five years ago or something? Yeah, yeah, five or six. Years. I didn't know who Daryl Anger was or Mike Marshall or you know Matt Flynn or Todd Phillips, any of those people. So it's all kind of new to me, and I love it. I came, I learned a fret bass when I was like 22, and it started with Willie Nelson and Roger Miller, that kind of stuff. And then went to Bob Wills, Western Swing, and they they found me, found me this stuff. Noah's got a bunch of recording gear that we took to a bunch of bars and we play around town and made a live record. We pretty just much played everything we know. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much played everything All that, that we know and had a bunch of different versions of it and just picked the best ones that we liked the most and put it on a, on a record. There's a uniqueness about what we're doing that um, is out there, but not really to, it doesn't, it's not really the, the way that we're doing it. I think that we kind of have a, a unique little niche for the sound that we're creating. We get along with a lot of genres and we, we don't really truly play any of them. I think it's good because we haven't been pigeonholed into a genre. It's, it's freeing, <laughs> for sure. I want to play what I enjoy listening to, and and a lot of that is produced by real human beings playing no, real nice. instruments, you know, in real time. Um, and there's something impressive about that, and I think that's what drives us to to do what we do. Thank you. So much sweet savor. It's so much we missed You know who I am You see me like this Usually since we all play the same instruments we'll play the whole song the way we hear it and bring it to a rehearsal pretty much finished like this is how the song goes Now y'all learn learn the song and then do what you do to it After that, it's like it's trying to decide who, who's going to play what now, which is uh, it's it's fun and um, people love it during the show too. They're like, that's that's a whole show in and of itself. You guys switching off? <laughs> like, yeah, we designed it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, all the songs that we do end up playing live and uh, recording. I think are of a level that we enjoy. There's a man upon a mountain, he's screaming at the stars, says his love is gonna save him. 
His passion is on fire and if he listen very closely In the distance he can hear the tires are squealing From being on the road for as long as we've been, like knowing what we like and what we don't like and what works and what doesn't work with the crowd. Playing all these songs up, you know, before we record them and then getting in there and knowing how they should, how they should sound. Just having a more focused approach as, as, as opposed to, um, let's just see what happens. Yeah, but many things they changed when they left me barely breathing But the girls all look the same when they're We have a brand new record that we just made. It, uh, it's caught off the press. So uh, we're going to play the title track off of Waves. It's called Waves. You can hear the cars drive by. It's getting dark outside. I bet the tar's not dry on the new road. Little where the TV said. Well, mainstream <laughs> music industry is awful. It's terrible. It's really, really bad. But um, below that, there's good music out there. And there always will be, and there's always going to be people who know that and will go to the shows and support it. And um, you just got to have faith in those people, you know? With the way things are going, that the record labels are able to do less. You see more and more record labels having to join up or call it quits. Um, just because they, they can't they can't make the money they used to. They're, you know, the game, the game has been exposed. I honestly have no idea how labels are still going, but but they are, and um, they're still helping a lot of bands. But um, I think that the game is changing, and it's changing like really, really fast. And it's becoming every man for himself, really, as far as getting yourself out there and getting your songs to people. I think that a lot of the the lower labels are failing because of the internet, people aren't being shoved this music so much people can explore for it. They can choose for themselves. It's not, you know, they know there's more than what is being put in front of them. And it almost sounds like waves crashing. And it almost sounds like waves crashing. They want to hear something real, you know, and they, and they want to hear a song about a, a real subject. And um, those are the people that uh, that that keep what what we do going. Like that's the reason why we play. And it almost sounds like waves crashing. Don't let anyone try to influence you and to tell you that something's bad or not cool, because in the end, it's going to end up being really cool. If you believe in it and it's it's a music that, that touches you, it's gonna touch someone else, for sure. And it almost sounds like waves crashing. Kept on building, just added water. Strip mall and concrete sky, and countless reasons why. suited men filled up their pockets but then they couldn't stay stole the night